Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 96, NASDAQ down 89, S&P's off one and a half, gold contract down at $2.50, trading at 18.06 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $23.11 an ounce, light sweet crude up 49 cents, $76.06 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up two ticks, 130.20, the 30-year up uh, down four ticks at 160.20 in King Dollar. King dollar up 53 ticks, trading 96, 146. Euro 113, the yen 114.81, the British pound 134 to one US dollar. We get over and take a look at the spy. What you're gonna see out here, folks, is that took a break out here today. Makes sense, you had a big day out here yesterday. Spy got to uh, 478, closed at 476.95. Bottom line, you're still way away while you're three points away from the high that got broken, which is the 473. And that's set up, man, that's set up. For the SPY to go to 498 to 500, <laughs> pretty wild, man, no doubt. Uh, if that's, if I'm correct in that assessment, folks, what we'll have is this, is that the NDX 100, that will also get up to its highs. Doesn't have to get over its highs, but I suspect we're gonna get to its highs. The high in the NDX 100 is 408.71. We got the 404 today, you closed at 401. We'll see how this baby shakes out. Dow Industrials, what do we have with the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials, uh, bottom line, got up to a price point today of 36,302, and um, that is just under the all-time high of 36,565. The closing high, which is 36,432, I suspected it was gonna basically be able to do that, and it didn't. Uh, doesn't mean a lot. Uh, I suspect what we're gonna see inside the Dow Industrials is the same type of movement, I meaning you'll build a little bit more cause, and since we're already up here, that thing's gonna blow it away. We go take a look at the small caps. The small caps, I don't expect to get to their highs, but what I do expect with the small caps is that it's gonna go fill the gap. The gap on the small caps up here is uh, 228.62. What we did out here today is that we got to a price point of uh, 225, bottom line, you're at 222. Um, and this is pretty amazing. Ford market cap closed above GM for the first time in five years out here today. So that is pretty wild when you think about it. Ford closed at uh, 2076 and GM, yeah, GM just went down a little bit more. So uh, bottom line, five years later, Ford has a bigger market cap than GM. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m.